Hello, I feel like I've started or ended multiple of my vlogs wearing this t-shirt um, recently, but what can you do? It's just like a sleeping shirt for me. But um, welcome to the vlog. It is already day 14, so today is Monday. I would like to say that my day has been slightly productive so far, but like it really hasn't other than the fact of like editing and uploading yesterday's vlog, which I've been doing pretty much every day, so that doesn't feel like that much of an accomplishment. Um, it's like freaking 2.30 and I don't understand why I have been up for like three and a half hours and I have only done that one task. I am going to be working on a final project for today. Um, I have two final projects due this week. I am honestly just like very, very, very happy and lucky with how this finals period in school has been for me because normally I would have like final exams as well as final projects and normally I'm in five classes and this quarter I am only in three classes and I already did one of my final projects that was due last week and I'm just presenting it on Wednesday so other than that I just have a paper to write a small other assignment that I have to do that will not be that difficult and then a um an additional project but it is the same do you remember last week when i showed you guys the powerpoint for festi which is the app that i am creating for class um i am doing that same idea for another class um so it is a slightly different presentation but i can use a lot of the information and obviously the whole idea of it so i am just like right now i'm just i'm at this point where like i'm not stressed but it's just like i would like to get the projects done so that it's not even on my mind why am i like telling you all this but basically i just wanted to say that count your blessings um because i feel very very lucky at this point in my life that my finals week stress ha is lighter than it has ever ever been including when i was in high school holy freaking shit honestly for me you guys like high school like junior year was probably i mean yeah junior maybe like sophomore year that is when i had the most school stress of my entire life like i feel like that was the most stressful period of my entire freaking life like i just remember like staying up every single night for like a week finals week and like cram because i'm a crammer so i would cram studying all into that night for like whatever two finals i had the next day um and i just remember that being so terrible the only good fa thing about finals was that we got to like leave school early after we would finish our finals so honestly to all of you guys that are like going through hard finals right now i want to say that you are going to survive because think about it you always do survive and when it's done you're going to be so freaking glad that like it's over and it will be over very very soon so if you are stressed out right now about school or finals or really just about anything um keep in mind that seriously it's going to be over before you know it and you are going to make it through and it is going to be so good but at the same time definitely try your hardest don't just blow it off try 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 your hardest on your projects and your finals because i want you guys to do your best and i want myself to do my best too because getting good grades feels really good doing good on something that you worked hard on feels really really good so that was my motivational speech to start off vlogmas for today that I did not plan on. Um, I have a really good feeling about this week. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to take a shower and begin my day. So I'm going to move this because the lighting, for me, that's a little bit better. The lighting for my laptop is like... I can close this. Why is this even open? Um, okay, so I'm taking a little break. I have been working on my presentation for tomorrow and it's working for a while and I just, I got to the point where I was like, I couldn't look at my computer. I need a break from looking at my computer screen. Took like a mini carrots and hummus break. Is it weird? Do you guys eat in your bed? Because like, I don't care at all. Like I eat in my bed like every day, you know? It's just like, it's just a comfy place. I work from my bed. I eat in my bed. I just, hang out in my bed most of the time that I'm in my apartment I, I feel um okay anyway I decided that I wanted to do a little mini Q&A sesh for today's vlog just because I haven't done that in a while and it's always a fun thing to do especially since I haven't like made a Q&A video on my main channel in so long which I actually probably should do but at the same time it's like the same thing doing it in a vlog why is he such a camera hog oh my god 
I tweeted for you guys to ask me your questions and the first one is from Virtually Riley who is my hero, my inspiration. She says, what's one thing you want to hear Snoop Dogg whisper in your ear? Mm, probably something like, hey Lindsay, you're really cool, let's be BFFs forever. Was that like really creepy? I don't know, I feel like it could have been a lot creepier. I would just want Snoop Dogg, if he was gonna whisper something in my ear, probably would want him to tell me that, you know, we should be best friends or something like that. Seems like a cool dude to hang out with. City of Anchors says, how painful were your tattoos on a scale of one to 10? Honestly, very painful. The most painful thing I've ever like done to my body. Um, a scale of one to 10, a five. A five, because like oh, 10 on the pain scale, like I don't even wanna know ever in my life what that feels like. Um, so I'm gonna say a five. Definitely worse than any piercings. It didn't take that long, that's the thing, it's like, the thing about pain, like honestly I was worried about tattoo pain and I knew I was going to be in pain. Like I didn't think that it wasn't going to hurt. I knew my tattoos were going to hurt. But um, the thing is like if you really want something like, you know, this takes a few minutes. Like it's not a very long process. It takes a few minutes of pain and like I was listening to some 21 Pilots and stuff like that at the tattoo shop. They were like letting us dj so like you know i was i was still in a good place other than i did feel the needle like all on this tattoo not on my arm tattoo this one i got first i got them back to back i felt the pain of the needle all throughout my body in this one as weird as that sounds like i could literally feel the vibration of the needle like everywhere at aliyah page or px ige says what's your favorite 21 pilot song my favorite 21 pilot song is holding on to you by far um, go listen to it right now, please. It's incredible. Love Bug Dinah says, What's your favorite thing about going back home? So, I am going home for the holidays in two days. And my favorite thing about going back home is seeing the people that I never get to spend time with. So, like, when I see my friends that I don't get to see, other than like once to twice a year at the breaks that we're both home at the same time, that is like my favorite thing, just spending time with my friends that i don't get to see a lot oh my god oh my god nick a laws um <laughs> who is like my friend nick says do you ever think about mrs wallace and her thursday shirt me and nick had our first ever fit em class together two and a half years ago and we had a teacher named miss wallace and i honestly I wouldn't say I think about her often, um, but I definitely think about her like when I think about Nick because we had that bonding experience. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and her Thursday shirt, I don't remember like a specific shirt, but um, I think about her sometimes. Emily Wade underscore says, will you ever come to Australia? Yes, honestly, if I could go to any country right now i would go to australia it's been like that for a while it's been the number one place on my list of places that i want to go um the thing is i really want to go with megan and so that's just like we have to figure out when both of us can be able to like take time off of life to go but i have plans to go to australia sometime in 2016 so i will obviously let you guys know and all that stuff but hopefully it can be in like the first half of the year but um definitely in 2016 i'm saying it right now like i'm going to australia i'm not waiting until 2017 like it is happening in 2016. oh my gosh everyone's asking questions about christmas missy sat says squirtles a little pause says what do you want for christmas i haven't asked for anything for christmas for the past three or four years um i actually really really prefer to be surprised so i don't like to really ask for anything but my mom always makes me send her at least like one or two things that i want um just because she's like Lancy, like i can't read your mind like i'll get you some surprises but i need to know for sending to other like relatives because they're asking like what you want so um this year i basically just asked for um an electric forest ticket so dramatic underscore love says i'm absolutely loving the purple hair what color are you thinking of executing flawlessly next Thank you very much that was very sweet of you and um well i'm doing my hair probably on friday when i go home because my hair lady in georgia really really wants to do something squirtle 
she really wants to do something to my hair and honestly like I don't know I'm, I'm like I like the color it is now it's a very very faded purple but like I'm telling you guys that watch the vlogs like on camera it is more vibrant than it is in real life and it's it's just dull you know what I mean so I just want to have a little bit of more life to it so I honestly don't know completely yet if I'm gonna be keeping it purple or if I'm gonna be doing a different color I um, I was with Drew the other night and he was telling me that I should do a rose color So if you look up like dusty rose hair, I am considering doing that. I would like to know your your thoughts Just cuz like, you know, I don't know. I definitely might keep the purple, but um, I wouldn't go as dark as I did When I first dyed it, I think I'm just gonna actually go and be like Hey, Luz, who's my hair lady? What do you think would like look best on me color wise? Let's do something Let, like let's switch it up. You know what I mean? Like it's been purple for a few weeks. Let's switch it up. Okay, two people asked me um, Are you going to get more tattoos or do you have more tattoos in mind that you want to get and Probably um, I don't have like this specific tattoo planned out. I don't have the space for it planned out um, I will probably get well, my next tattoo is probably going to be colorful. It's gonna have some sort of a design. It might also have words, but it's probably going to be like not that big and also and not in a place that's like that noticeable. But I'm just saying this right now, like this is just like initial ideas right now. Um, probably somewhere on my back, I like the idea of a tattoo like in between my shoulder blades or something like that so it could or on the back of my neck i would get a tattoo there or my friend chloe has a tattoo back here and that's a really cool spot for it i honestly have for a really 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 long time wanted to get a tattoo with the base nectar symbol in it i will insert some photos on the screen of kind of like an idea of what i'm talking about i've had this idea for probably like a year and a half now um and i just don't exactly know what i want but I definitely think I will be getting a tattoo that somehow incorporates the base nectar symbol, whether that's just in a tiny way, like replacing an O with the little base drop, or getting it kind of centered around that. I don't know, you could think like, that's stupid, like your favorite artist is going to change, like he's not gonna be relevant to your life in 30 years or something like that. But for me, I don't want the tattoo because I'm obsessed with bass nectar and bass nectar music. Um, I want the tattoo because it symbolizes a, a feeling and a time in my life and something that gave my life and gives my life on an everyday basis a lot of purpose, a very, very large sense of community and just like the single thing that really, really, really like I feel like changed my life for the better just by um, experiencing the community of Bass Nectar. If you are a fellow like bass head, if you've been to any shows, definitely leave me a comment down below because you probably, there's, I don't mean to like this to sound like rude in any way, um, but if you haven't been to a Bass Nectar show, there's no way that you could ever possibly understand like what I'm talking about and like why this community is so important to me it's a very 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 special crowd and it's a lot more than just the music for me and for i think pretty much everyone that goes to a show so that was a really long explanation but um i yeah my gosh another person asked that same question about getting another tattoo i'll answer one more Last question is from at she simply knows and she says what advice do you have for someone who wants to be where you are in life? First of all, before I answer that exact question, um, I was watching my friend Kaylee McKenzie who I've watched every single one of her vlogmas. I absolutely love her. She's one of my really, really, really close YouTube friends and the only time I don't, the only reason I don't see her all the time is because she freaking lives in New York and I live in LA. She was basically talking about in her vlog, her most recent vlog, she was like, I don't want anyone to look up to me or to think of me as a role model because I am just living my life and I like never signed up for that. And that's something that I think about a lot because um, people, you know, say that I'm a role model to other people and to my viewers and things like that. And that, oh, 
because you made the decision to be on YouTube, that means you made the decision to be a role model. And I used to, I feel like I used to kind of think that a little bit more. I don't feel that role models are something necessarily always good. And I know that might sound weird, but I don't really think there's much of a point to looking up to someone and wanting to live your life in, well, there's a difference between wanting to live your life in a way that someone's living their life and wanting to, you know, have qualities that they have and do similar things versus like literally striving to be a specific person. That's what I'm talking about. Like the type of role, role model or like person that you look up to so much that you're like, I want to be exactly like this person. Um, that's the type of role model that I think is unhealthy because there's so, so, so much that you will never know about that person that you don't know that you don't see and um i just want to say <laughs> that well i definitely you know can see why people would say oh like you're on youtube you know you're a role model i personally do not i don't want to I don't want to be be a role model because I think everybody should live their life how they want to. I don't think anyone should watch me and want to live their life the same way. I just realized that this clip is 17 minutes long and probably no one's watching this vlog anymore. So um, that was kind of a rant that I went off on. I'm not even sure if I'm going to include that in the vlog, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Like, I am not a role model. I am just living my life. And the things that I decide to show you guys and talk to you guys about are the things that I choose to show you and the things that I don't choose to show you and don't ever talk about those are also parts of my life and they will never be on youtube so that's just a thing to keep in mind like honestly youtube is censored you know what i mean like i know exactly what i'm putting out there i know what i'm not putting out there and that is just you know my judgment and me being like this is what i want to put out into the world and these other things that are more private to me are things that i don't want to put out into the world and that's the reason that yes i'm so like you guys know a lot about my life but at the same time um i feel like i've said this so many times at the same time like there are parts of my life that i do not like to share and that i do not like to talk about and people in my life that i'm very close to that you guys don't don't know about only because i prefer it that way and i don't want people <coughs> judging and knowing every aspect of my life um because like i talked about in my like strip down challenge like people judge everybody judges people whether you say it or not what advice do you have for someone who wants to be where you are in life okay try and be as independent as you can you know what i mean i've had a job since i was 15 years old and um i've had different jobs since i was 15 years old and i think you should always want to work for yourself you should always want to make your own money you should always you know aspire to be better every single day aspire to be the best person that you can be treat everybody genuinely the way that you want to be treated because that is going to come back to you treating people like shit and talking shit about people especially your friends is terrible karma it's a terrible thing to do as a friend and it is only going to hurt you talk good about people talk good about yourself talk positively about everything and then it will be just you know what i mean like just it's um i, I don't even know if i'm answering the question i hope i i hope i someone answered that for you um simone <laughs> i'm just going off sometimes like i feel like my brain just like goes off on a tangent i'm sorry guys i'm pretty hungry right now i'm gonna go get dinner with my friend taylor at tender greens um but i hope you enjoyed this very long q a session of this vlog <laughs> thank you for tuning in all right we are here at tender greens with taylor oh yeah show me how you salt it up baby look how like healthy her thing is compared to mine all of the arugulas and then the tuna meanwhile my greens are like so light nice fat mash <laughs> A nice, a nice mash. And then I got a side of soup. It looks funny. But yeah, you know, we're really going all out tonight. Guys, please observe what is happening right now. I guess I left some carrots out. Um, the bag of carrots in his reach. And I come back from dinner. And this is happening. Squirtle.
You can't possibly eat that many carrots. Guys, <laughs> look at this. Oh my God. There's like carrots on my bed. <laughs> There's carrots places that carrots should never be. <laughs> when I came home, the bag was like right here on the floor. Sir, I mean, at least he's getting in his vegetable serving. I'm glad it wasn't anything else, but like this guy. Squirtle likes my new, um, my new Jasper. I was just holding it in my left hand and um, he started pawing it and you can't eat it. You can't eat it. Hey, Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. Guys, <laughs> sir, <laughs> drop the crystal. <laughs> But guys, this is actually like, this is serious. Megan and I have talked about it before because he used to always walk around with Megan's amethyst and he doesn't like chew on it. He just carries it around. Sir. Well, I guess he does chew on it, but Squirt like knows where crystals are. Like, look, he can feel the energy. He's feeling it. Squirtle, you need to do some meditations because you are a freaking spaz 24-7 and you need to start adding some calm, cool, collected energy to your life. All right, sir? This is a serious question as an obsessed dog owner. Like, because, I, you know, like, I watch all of Megan's vlogs and, like, I know how much I film Squirtle when I'm with him and how much Megan films Squirtle. Like, he makes an appearance in every single vlog. And does it annoy you guys? Like, do you guys get annoyed, like, with how often... Um, Squirtle is shown like it's it's just annoying because he's not your dog and he's our dog and we're just obsessed with him Like I can't help it like only got my dog in April <laughs> I think he's the greatest guy in the whole world and I just would like to know so yeah Um anyway working on a project got back from dinner with Taylor in the same spot as I was for that really 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 long Q&A session we did so I'm gonna finish this and Talk to you in a few hours because I want to get this freaking done Check out this slide I just made of some fellow YouTubers. <laughs> we had to pick five influencers for our brand. And um, as I said, I'm doing Festi again for this class. So this is another slide. Um, and this is basically just an overview. But I really like, I feel like this slide is really aesthetically pleasing with like all of the Instagrams. Just like, yes. Shout out to Kaylee. <laughs> This man was just throwing back either dance moves or laughter. Not really sure which one, but why does this shit always happen right before I turn the camera on? You guys ask me if I get creeped out by the fact that my windows are always open if, and if people like randomly are staring at me. And my answer to that is I do have blinds. Um, can you see them? These silver things, I have them on all of my windows. Um, but I honestly really like having the windows open during the day because it brings in a lot of light and just because I don't like want to be all just in my apartment with no light. So during the day, I have my windows open. Yes, I'm sure people across the building can see me. It's not really a big deal to me. I mean, I'm clothed the general amount of the time and, um, it doesn't creep me out. And, um, I mean, I can see them, they can see me. I'm not really gonna, like, have an interaction with a person that I'm seeing across the way and, like, see them on the streets and have an awkward, and like, you know? If that was to happen, that would be really, really odd. But it's not like it's, like, an apartment complex. It's I think it's businesses or something. But um, it is funny that I can always see into them. Like, I know there's, like, a cleaning or some sort of, like, a cleaners, dry clean or something. And then there's, like, some sort of a lobby. And then below that, there's some sort of, like, a hair salon type of business. Um, and then below that, oh my god, the man is raging again. They're doing like cleaning or doing some sort of construction at 12 a.m. Um, anyway, and then at night, I put down the blinds that are right here by my bed every single night. No one's watching me sleep or anything creepy like that. But um, yeah, I get a lot of questions about that. You guys are like, aren't you paranoid that people are watching you? Um, and my answer is no. Not really, honestly. It's If I wanted to keep my blinds down all day, I would, but that would be pretty lame and kind of to be the purpose of having windows for my walls on <laughs> this whole side of my apartment. Um, yeah. All right, I am heading to sleep. I know, I actually think my entire vlog was in my bed today. <laughs> 
that's pretty lame but i was just in my apartment all day other than when i went to dinner with taylor oh that was outside of the apartment when i went to dinner with taylor and just walking squirtle obviously just mom things um it's pretty late it's like two and i did finish my presentation for my class tomorrow night so that is exciting so yeah i'm feeling pretty good i just have to write a paper tomorrow i'm exhausted and i can't wait for school to be over and to be home chilling in my house with squirtle and my other dogs and my fam and i will see you guys in vlogmas tomorrow good night